All right, we're up to week six of using puppy culture. Want to know how to get your puppy to come to you? Puppy, puppy, puppy! That's what these puppies have learned, and this is what they will do, and it is adorable in slow motion. We continued with new experiences, but now we're moving from introducing them to new objects to having more and more experiences. So we did baths in a basin on the front lawn today with some warm water and a very sunshiny day. Here are two of the pups warming up together and some others who want to keep playing. The next day we had the luxury of some great animals coming to visit. So first we had our lab from down the street who we knew was fully vaccinated and who is a pup who is a good example as well. He's young and playful. But even introducing the puppies to a dog that's a different color than their mom and dad can help them. You can see Orange Boy here is getting used to him and we gave the puppies plenty of treats. This was really cool. We had a parrot come by and got to meet the pups. It was good for them to experience that sound even though they couldn't get super close to the parrot. Now, when you get puppy culture, it looks overwhelming because there are so many things to do. But you have to remember that a new experience a day can be something small. Right here, I changed the litter from our normal pellets because the store is out like many things are right now. We tried using litter because I've heard other breeders who have liked it, but I still added on some alfalfa grass because I want them to be used to the smell of grass for you all to make potty training easier. But I am going to be completely honest, I really didn't like it. But <laughs> luckily, it still gave them a new experience. Right here, we're doing the resource guarding exercise. This is done a couple of times over the course of their stay here. Basically, you give them a high value treat, which is typically a bone. Now, I'm going to use cream cheese. I'm going to take away the bone and immediately give the cream cheese. In fact, I probably should have given the cream cheese even a little more quickly right there. Don't mind my shoddy camera work. This is an exercise I really encourage you to continue when you get your puppy, especially in those first 12 weeks. I'm on a lot of Golden Doodle forums. We really want Golden Doodles to keep a great name, but some are getting a bad rap because of resource guarding. Now, according to puppy culture, this can be eliminated through in the first 12 weeks. Giving your pup this bone and taking it away, giving them a treat immediately, it imprints on them that when something gets taken away from me, I don't need to be threatened. Something good is going to happen. This is especially going to be true if you have a pup coming to your home and you already have a dog. Both dogs are going to need help with this. So one thing I did with my two dogs is when I give my old dog a treat, I give my new dog a treat. When I give my new dog a treat, I give my old dog a treat. And we do this over and over again to help them feel that sense of security. Also try and get two of everything in the very beginning so there isn't a threat. We have moved to totally dry kibble. As you can see, it's in a different dish this time. That's another change we can make just to give them a slightly new experience. Every new change we make helps eliminate a fear and give a positive association as long as we're doing it correctly. I'm so excited for these upcoming two pictures, snuggling and touch tolerance. Purple was terrified to be held and cried the first two weeks. This goes to show you get out what you put in and using a curriculum like puppy culture can make all the difference. Look at how she is laying on her back, one of the most vulnerable positions, and she is floppy as can be, staring into my eyes, amazing eye contact. I am just so proud. Next, we have Green, and here he is. He will crawl up onto my lap first thing now. He still doesn't love to be toted around, and he can get a little shaky with a brand new person, but we still have so much time, up until week 12, really. He still has a lot of time to imprint more positive associations with more people. Although he might make a great fit for a toddler home because he's so chill, a toddler home probably won't make the best fit for him at this point. All right, another great thing we did was puppy pictures. This was a great chance to see a little bit of who our natural sitters were. <laughs> we also did some more stacking work. This is mainly because we're keeping a girl for the program and we want to have the most structurally sound pups. 
Another pup our dogs got to meet was an adorable pup from our last litter and he is turning out so beautiful. His structure's turning out beautiful and I was so excited to see him and the pups responded really well to him. He was a little bit smaller than the black lab, closer to their size, a little less intimidating, a little more like mom and dad. I also got another picture from our last litter. I had to share because she's turned out so beautiful. Thanks for watching this week. I know it was shorter. I wanted to spend more time with the pups and less time with videos. And I think it really is going to pay off in the end. Have a good one.